Good day, my audience. Um, you welcome once again to Dr. Fred Academy. Today, we shall be looking at the muscles of the forelimb of the canine species. That is, the muscles of the forelimb of the dog. So we shall be starting with the muscles of the shoulder joint. Of course, the muscles of the forelimb is divided into groups. We have the muscles of the shoulder joint. We have muscles of the elbow joint. We have muscles of the carpal and digital joints. So we shall start with muscles of the shoulder joint. The muscles of the elbow joint are of the shoulder joint are actually I mean the muscles of the shoulder joint is actually divided into two major groups. That is the extrinsic group of muscles and the intrinsic group of muscles. So the extrinsic group of muscles um, is also divided into two parts that is the superficial and the deep group so let's take the muscles one after the other and we shall see the classes to which each belong so talking about the extrinsic group of muscles we shall start with the superficial group the superficial group includes the following the first one is the brachiocephalicus muscle this is the brachiocephalicus muscle it has two parts and these two parts include the cladobrachialis, this is the cladobrachialis, and then the those are one is the cladocephalicus. These two parts are joined at a point called the clavicular intercession. It is actually joined by a ligament. Okay, there's a ligament at this point called the clavicular intersection. It joins the cladobrachialis and the cladocephalicus. Now, this cladobrachialis is actually present in all domestic animals, but the cladocephalicus are present, but their point of insertion varies depending on the animal species. So in this species, the cladocephalicus has two parts. The first part is the cladomastoidus. This is the cladomastoidus. Okay, the cladomastoidus. And then the second part is the Cledo cervicalis. This is the cledo cervicalis. All right. The second muscle we shall talk about is the homo transversarius. This is the homo transversarius. Okay. The homo transversarius actually originates from the shoulder region. This is the shoulder region. Okay. That is around the scapula and acromial. Okay. And then it inserts at the atlas so it travels it goes in it goes in to the neck region until it gets to the atlas okay so this is the homo transversarius okay the next one we shall look at is the latissimus dozi the latissimus dozi this is the latissimus dozi okay the latissimus dozi actually originates from the thoracolumbar fascia and the last two to three ribs. Okay? It originates from the thoracolumbar fascia. This is the fascia. The thoracolumbar fascia. Okay? And the last two to three ribs. And it actually inserts on the teres tuberosity of the humerus. So it goes to insert on the media surface, on the media surface of the humerus. That is on the teres tuberosity. Okay, so this is the latissimus dozi. The next uh, muscle we shall be looking at is the trapezius. The trapezius. This is the trapezius. Okay. This is the trapezius. The trapezius is uh, actually a triangular-shaped muscle. Okay, as you can see, it's a, a triangle. Okay, it has the cervical parts and then the, the thoracic parts. Okay, and um, its point of uh, origin is a nuchal or supraspinous ligament. Okay, and it actually inserts on the spine of the scapula. So it comes down this way, okay, to insert on the spine. This is a point, the spine of the scapula. So this is a point of insertion of the trapezius. Okay, all right, the next muscle we shall be looking at is the superficial pectoral muscle. Okay, opening to this point, we have the superficial pectoral. This is the superficial pectoral muscle. Okay, 
the superficial pectoral muscle. Okay, it actually originates from the cranial part of the sternum, the cranial part of the sternum. All right, this is the cranial part of the sternum, and it starts on the terrestrial tuberosity of the humerus. So at this point, at this point, just on the terrestrial tuberosity, the humerus is here. So part of the the superficial pectora inserts there on the terrestrial tuberosity of the humerus. Okay, that is it for the superficial group. I take it again. We showed the brachiocephalicus, the homo transversarius, the latissimus dosi, the trapezius, and the superficial pectora. So let's look at the deep group. The deep group of muscles that we have include the rhomboidus. The rhomboidus, the moment you lift up the, brachio, the trapezius, just beneath it, we have the rhomboidus. Okay, this is the rhomboidus. Okay, it actually uh, inserts on the medial surface of the scapular cartilage. This is the scapular cartilage, so it inserts just slightly on the medial surface of the scapular cartilage. So this is the rhomboidus. All right, the rhomboidus. The next muscle we shall look at is the the deep pectora. All right, the deep pectora is here. Okay, of course I've showed you the superficial pectora. So this is the deep pectora. Okay. And then the deep pectora actually originates from the sternum, okay, and costal cartilages, okay. It comes out from the sternum. Of course, the sternum is here. The sternum and then the costal cartilages, and it, it inserts on the greater and lesser tubercles of the humerus, okay. The humerus is here. So this is part of it, the deep pectora. It inserts on the... On the greater and lesser tubercles of the humerus and tendon of insertion of the biceps brachii muscle. Okay, the next one we shall look at includes the the serratus ventralis. So this is the serratus ventralis. This is the serratus ventralis. Okay, the serratus ventralis. You see its attachment to the medial surface of the scapula okay the serratus ventralis actually uh, originates from the fourth cervical vertebrae to the tenth rib okay from the fourth cervical vertebrae to the down to the tenth rib that's its uh, origin uh, it, it actually inserts on the triangular area of the coastal surface of the scapula okay this is the coastal surface of the scapula. It is also called the area serrata of the scapula. That is the point of uh, the insertion of the serratus ventralis. Okay. Having talked about, having said that, I want to give a recap again of the deep muscles. We said they include the rhomboidus, okay, the deep pectora, and then the serratus ventralis okay now the next group of muscles we will want to talk about is the intrinsic group of muscles that is the intrinsic intrinsic group of uh, the shoulder muscles this group are also divided into three the lateral group the medial group and the caudal group the lateral group are as follows number one we have the supraspinatus this is the supraspinatus okay the supra the supraspinatus actually is on the supraspinous fossa of the scapula. Now, if you notice, this is the scapula, the scapula, and then the the spinous scapula is at this point. So, on the cranial aspect, that is here we have the supraspinatus. Okay. Now, this muscles actually lies on the supraspinous fossa of the scapula. The next one we shall look at is the infraspinatus. The infraspinatus uh, is here. This is the infraspinatus. 
that is on the caudal surface, on the caudal part of the, the scapula, okay? That is on the caudal aspect of the spine of the scapula. This is the spine here. So on this caudal area, we have the uh, infraspinatus. It is slightly covered by the, this muscle. This is a, the deltoidus muscle. That is the scapular part. Okay, so this actually is the infraspinatus. Okay, if we lift up this, uh, the deltoidus, you also see part of it there. This is the infraspinatus. Okay, infraspinatus. And it, it lies in the infraspinous fossa of the uh, scapula. All right. So the next one we shall look at is the deltoidus muscle. The deltoidus in the dog has two parts. It's made up of two parts. Okay. The first part is the, uh, this one here. It is called the, the scapular part. Okay. The part that lies partly on the scapula. That is the infraspinatus muscle. So this is the scapular part. Okay. On the ventral aspect of it, we have the acromial part. So this is the acromial part. The origin of the deltoidus muscle is on the spine, okay, and the acromial process of the scapula, okay, is on the spine, and the acromial process is acromial process of the scapula, and they insert on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus, okay. Both of them come down to insert on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. Of course, that is where it derives its name from, the deltoidus muscle. The next one we shall look at is the teres minor. Okay, when you lift up the acromial part of the deltoidus muscle, you will see a bit of the teres minor. This is it here. Yeah? If you lift up the, the scapular part as well, you will see it fully. So this is the teres minor. This is the teres minor. Okay, the teres minor. The teres minor is actually uh, it, it, the, the, the origin is actually on the distal caudal one third of the scapula. Distal caudal one third of the scapula and uh, from the long head of the tricep brachii muscle. Okay, this is the co distal caudal one third of the scapula and also from the long head. This is the long head of the Triceps brachii muscle. Okay, and then its insertion is between the tendon of insertion of the infraspinatus and the deltoidus muscle. Between what? The tendons of insertion of the infraspinatus and deltoidus muscle. Okay, so this is the the del the teres minor. Okay. A recap. Once again, I need to tell you that the muscles we just talked about are the lateral group of the intrinsic muscle. And they include the supraspinatus, okay, the infraspinatus, the deltoidus, the two parts of the deltoidus, and then the teres minor. Okay, having said this, we will now move down to the, the medial group. Of this muscles, the middle group include the the middle group is made up of two muscles. The first one is the is a subscapularis. Okay, this is a subscapularis. Okay, it actually lies in the subscapular fossa of the scapula. Okay, this is a subscapularis. The second one. We shall look at is the coracobrachialis, which is actually the smallest muscle here. Okay, the coracobrachialis muscle. The coracobrachialis muscle is here. It's just at this point. Okay, it's very small at this point. The coracobrachialis muscle. Okay, now these two make up the medial uh, group of muscles. I take it again, the subscapularis and the coracobrachialis okay the next muscle is the caudal group which is the the caudal group is just the teres major so this is the teres major it lies on the caudal aspect of the uh, subscapularis muscle this is the teres 
major. Okay? The teres major has actually its origin from the caudal border of the proximal half of the scapula. Caudal border of the proximal half of the scapula. Okay? And inserts in the teres tuberosity together with the tendon of insertion of the latissimus dosi muscle. This is the latissimus dosi muscle. Okay, both of them join together to insert on the to insert on the latissimus to insert on the uh, teres tuberosity of the humerus. Okay. Now we are done with the muscles of the forelim. Sorry, muscles of the shoulder joint. I would uh, want to advise you to watch the next. Uh, episode of this video for the completion of this uh, uh, this video that is the muscles of the forelimb so today we just looked at the muscles of the shoulder joint in my next video i shall be looking at the muscles of the elbow joint and the muscles of the tarsal and digital joint do not forget do not forget to subscribe to this channel dr fred academy and click on the notification bell icon okay for notification when I have when I post more videos thank you for listening